Hi everybody, Bunny Berry here, 100 Day Raw Food Challenge Day 57, and y'all, I have been touched to preach a little bit to y'all today. That's right. This community is in need of a revival, because some of you out there right now are saying, I don't know if I can do this. Some of you out there are saying, I don't know if this is the right lifestyle for me. Some of you out there might even think that you are not worth it. But let me tell you, brothers and sisters of raw food, you are worth it. And it's time for us to have a little revival so that we can we can we can revive a few basic principles like common sense and accountability and empowerment back into our journey. Our journey for health, our journey for weight loss, our journey for, you know, being a better person, evolving to that next step in our lives. Can I hear an amen? I saw a movie yesterday called Food Matters. And, wow, you know, it just opened my eyes to some of the things that I've been feeling over the last few months of this journey, um, especially concerning just taking responsibility for yourself and for your own health. You know, you, we have got to stop as a nation expecting our doctors to fix everything that ails us when we are the ones who are causing our problems. You know, I mean, we have to empower ourselves to be the one that makes the right lifestyle choice. I've read, I don't know how many, how many books I've read, how many things I've watched on YouTube, and they're all, all of the experts agree that nutrition is the key to our health problems. Nutrition is the key to living a healthy, long, happy life. We are so starved in this country. Well, around the world, everybody's starving. You know, we might, we might have a full plate of food on our table, but we're still hungry. We're hungry in our gut. We're hungry in our minds. We're hungry in our souls. And the reason that we're hungry is because we're malnourished. We're, we're, we're malnourished because our guts aren't working properly, because we fill them up with a bunch of crap and then expect our bodies to process it. Our brains are starving because they're not getting the nutrition. Your little brain cells up there, they're not getting the nutrition they need. They're not getting the oxygen that they need to perform at their maximum level. Imagine! What this little community could do if all of our brain cells were working at maximum capacity. Can I hear a testify? Mm -mm. We would be getting some stuff done. You know what I'm saying? But it's up to us. You know, if you are expecting anyone out there to do this challenge for you, if you're expecting it to be easy, if you're expecting or anybody to even give a rip what you're doing to prevent disease in your life, to make yourself feel better, to lose weight. If you think anybody is going to help you do that on a day-to-day, meal-to-meal basis, they're not. It's up to you. You have to do it for yourself. And you have to do it because you love yourself and you want to nourish this beautiful body and this beautiful mind and this beautiful soul that's been given to you. You know, you got to take responsibility for yourself. 
You can't expect all these years to make the wrong lifestyle choices, to make the wrong decisions, you know, whether you knew they were wrong or not is irrelevant now because now you know. And you got to do it for yourself. You can do it. It's as simple as putting the right food into your mouth every time you're given that choice. It's just that simple. That really, you know, that really hit me in the Food Matters film. That it really is that simple. It's as simple as, do I want to treat my body and to treat the chronic problems that I have and to prevent more chronic problems from happening by just simply making the right choice of food to put into my mouth? Do I want to make that choice for myself? I do. And I know you do too. So, it's not easy. It, especially because we're surrounded by bad choices all the time. You know, you can't turn on the television, you can't walk out of your house, you can't even check the mail without there being some, you know, somebody marketing, this is a marketing call, this one's for credit, which is the last thing anybody needs in this country right now. Can I hear amen? You can't walk out the door, you can't check your mailbox without seeing advertisements, for fast food, people marketing things to you that are going to just make you sick and are going to make you feel bad inside, outside, and and it's just going to spread like a little like a little virus out into our families and our communities and out into the world. We have to empower ourselves to make the right decisions. Know that we're making the right decisions every time we put that that wonderful morsel of plant-based material into our mouths and know that other people are watching us make that choice and are curious about why we're so fired up about it. So get fired up, y'all. Don't worry about perfection. Don't worry about every little thing. Just make a commitment to change. It only takes one person to change the world. It only takes one little teeny tiny seed to grow enough food for, you know, as many, many people that need to eat it. One person, one seed, one idea, one I love you, one thank you, one kind gesture. That's all it takes. One choice. Empower yourselves. Get out there this weekend and make it happen. Because if you're expecting people to make you happy, make the right choices for you, you know, make you feel worthy, you're looking out you're looking outside and it's not going to happen for you you got to look inside you got to look inside your soul inside your body inside your mind because that's where all the answers are for you so amen if you hear what i'm saying put your hands on the monitor feel the love feel the love y'all feel it and eat your veggies.